All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. They're welcoming you too. <laughs> Today I have a very crappy video for you. <laughs> Today it's gonna be about natural resources on my property that I use in my garden. The first thing I need to do here is clean out this chicken coop because that is a natural resource. All their poop, the wood shavings that are in there, in time, because it's been about uh, uh, maybe almost a year that I've cleaned this or so. Um, after time, all that the poop gets, you know, composted, dried up in there. Um, the, all the wood chips break down. Everything gets broken down in there, and it, and it starts building up. And it starts to stink pretty bad too. <laughs> so I need to clean that out. Let me show you how I clean it out. What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with all that clean out the, the poop and wood shavings that are in the uh, chicken coop uh, where I'm going to put it and where it's going to go by next spring. All right guys so all this beautiful crap <laughs> that you see on the floor here mixed with broken down uh, wood shavings actually the, the, even the, uh, the poop is all broken down uh, and it's dry. I'm going to clean this all out, scoop it all out of here, and I am going to put it in a compost pile where it's going to compost for until next spring anyways. So let me get this cleaned up and let me show you the compost pile. I think for our first load, I think we're full. So here I got poop, wood shavings, and feathers. Beautiful fertilizer. This is somewhat broken down, not completely, of course. We're gonna bring this to the compost pile over there. I'll probably have one more load. And uh, let me take this mask off. Very important to wear a mask. Cause you don't wanna breathe this dust in. Trust me. <laughs> you don't wanna breathe that in. But let me put it in that pile over there and I'll do one more and let me show you what, uh, what I'm gonna do with that pile. Okay guys, so this here is my big old pile, basically compost. It's composted wood chips, uh, horse manure, mushroom compost, uh, some, I had some, a low lying area over here where the dirt was black. You know, it's, it was an area of my property where it's always wet, a lot of good bacteria and stuff and the leaves, all that stuff breaking down there. I scooped some of that out, put that in here also. And uh, the clean out for uh, my chicken coop, what I'm doing right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I got one more load of this probably before I put new wood shavings in the, uh, in the chicken coop. But I'm gonna put one more load here 
and we're gonna mix this all up not by hand <laughs> with my tractor so let me get this dumped here I got one more to do and I'll get my tractor out and we'll mix this all up this is pretty much done composting but I always add more stuff to it and let it sit for a few months so with this clean out now um, spring we have uh, what four months yet we're in December January February March three months three and a half months or so and um, this will be ready to put in my garden now what I'm gonna do in my garden once I get a bed ready I'm gonna top it with this stuff maybe two two inches or so on top and uh, that'll also suppress a lot of the weeds and when you water it and when it rains all that nutrient from this goes down into the bed and uh, gives it the soil life you know because this is the life of the soil is organic material in your soil breaking down all the bugs doing their job in there breaking everything down and uh, that's living soil all right guys so I got one more load of this and we're gonna mix it with our tractor I want to breathe that stuff in. Uh, I'll do the rest with my tractor. So guys as you can see here this is truly black gold it's beautiful I don't know if I can get it on camera here it's beautiful everything's broken down in here and what little I put in there that'll be all broken down by um, spring and this will be ready to put in my garden when you have a compost pile like this you're you're it's unbelievable how how much nutrients you're giving your all your fruits and vegetables um, and it's very important to have a good source of organic material and it's best to do it yourself that way you know what's in there yeah you got store-bought co compost but that stuff is very 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 basic it's just broken down uh, wood chips basically uh, for the most part and um, unless you can find a, a place that really has uh, like restaurant leftovers and uh, um, scraps and things like that that they compost um, but you know that's not everywhere anyways uh, this is all organic I know it's what's in here and and it's good for my garden so I got poop in there chicken poop horse poop I got chicken feathers I got uh, um, uh, wood uh, wood shavings in there I got 
you know, stuff from around the property and it's all set. So this is a wonderful natural resource to put in your garden. Let me show you another natural resource that people usually bag and throw away. Okay, for the other natural resource that is all around me, leaves. In the fall and the winter here, well, mostly in the winter here in East Texas, this tree's not even done yet. About half have come off. I've already cleaned this area out once and other areas around my property and more have fallen of course as you can see we're going to pick these all up and i'll show you what we're going to do with them Now this isn't completely full, it's about up to here. And remember this mulches, so it breaks the leaves down into you know small pieces.
Now that's some beautiful stuff. It's all broken down. You can see that all broken down. The nice mulch. I have here six, six loads that I did. <coughs> yeah, and it's dusty too. I got six loads here. I can't pile it up with this because, you know, it doesn't go up high enough, of course. So I'm gonna get my tractor, make a nice big old pile, and I'll show you what I do with this stuff. Okay, now that we got a nice big old pile going on here, let me show you what we do with this stuff in the garden. It's absolutely wonderful. This is beautiful leaf mulch, fresh, and this stuff will start breaking down as time goes on and feeding the soil. Okay, what we got here? We don't want any weeds in there. Sometimes it's hard to uh, keep the weeds out, especially with the tractor with your scooping down low, lifting it up, and you're pulling up grass and weeds. But anyways, <clears throat> the majority of it's nice and mulched leaves here. All right, let's get this in the garden and uh, put it to work. So here I have two beds of cabbage that I had extra seedlings from uh, the greenhouse. A lot of extra cabbage because I wasn't sure how many were going to germinate and I wanted to make sure I had at least enough plants and now I ended up with too many. <laughs> so in between each plant here what I'm doing is I'm putting this leaf mulch down and what that's going to do well, it's going to do a couple of things actually. It's going to keep the weeds down a lot actually and um, and feed the soil. And how is it going to feed the soil? It's going to start breaking down. And what loves to eat leaves? Worms, earthworms. Once it rains and these, these, get, these get wet, the earthworms come up and they're going to find an abundance of food and when they eat all these leaves, what do they do? They poop. And that's worm castings. So they feed the soil, they fertilize the soil, they aerate the soil because they, you know, bore holes all into the soil. There's a lot of other bugs and, and uh, critters that will eat this also. They poop, feed the soil, and that's what you call living soil. Now, after this is all, you know, covered in leaves, you just leave it like this all through the, well, if you're up north, all through the summer. And for us in here in the south, we, uh, all through the winter. And usually, eh, if we don't have a bad winter, um, these won't die off. But if we start getting those cold fronts, 
that we get down to those single digits and stuff, these might not last. But the greenhouse, they will. So it's nice to have a greenhouse. So this works out great for us. Keeps the weeds down, feeds the soil, and we don't have to really till anymore because, like I said, you're feeding the earthworms and the bugs, usually the good bugs. I mean, I'm not talking about bad bugs here. It's the good bugs eat this stuff and fertilize the soil, especially those earthworms. Um, so you can keep this all year round like this. And every fall you do this, and uh, by spring, all you got to do is push it out of the way a little bit and put your seedling in or your seed, whatever you got to do. Once that plant comes up, you just push it around the plant and you're all set. And this will continuously feed the soil and keep the weeds down. It's a beautiful thing. And you know, if you do this in the fall, by uh, the end of the year, I'm sorry, if you do it in the fall, after summer, the next summer, um, if you need to add some soil, if, you're, if it's broken down, it's, you need more, build up your soil, uh, put a little uh, top, <clears throat> excuse me, top soil. Then when fall comes, put the leaves back down. And uh, you don't need to till it anymore. You leave that to the earthworms and the bugs. But if you're just starting off with a new garden, that's a little different. What you want to do if you're starting off with a new garden is make your bed, add compost, you can find some good organic manure that'd be great but at least lots of compost and mix it into your native soil really good and keep building up your build it up pretty good and, and deep till it deep and uh, then you can start planting and doing this you want to get your soil your native soil um, amended really good I like throwing azomite in here that's uh, minerals that's a uh, volcanic ash mineral. So my soil is all set, so I shouldn't have to till this anymore. As long as I keep adding organic material like I'm doing here, I should be all set. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. And when uh, the, the cool, cold season's over and the, the cool crop here, the uh, cabbage is done, um, it's all set. All I have to do is move the, the uh, uh, leaf mulch out of the way and put my seedlings in there and we'll start growing eggplants, tomatoes, whatever, you know, peppers. So we're all set here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to use your natural resources around your property. And if you live in the suburbs, what I would do is if you got a trailer, even your pickup truck, uh, go around the neighborhoods and see where they're throwing away bags of leaves and uh, just throw them in the back of your truck or in the turret trailer. Bring them home, start a nice big old pile, put them in your garden beds. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful resource and uh, it'll feed your garden and feed you. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.